Hey everyone, welcome back to Dungeon Brew, where we explore all things homebrew. Today, we're tackling one of the hardest parts of any TTRPG, exploration. While many GMs include exploration into their games, it's often underutilized and underrewarded. So let's talk about what exploration really means and how you can use it to enhance your homebrew campaigns. Exploration, in essence, involves going off the beaten path. It's not just about moving from point A to point B, but choosing to check out point C or D along the way. This can mean wandering the wilderness, navigating through labyrinthine dungeons, or uncovering hidden parts of a bustling city. The magic of exploration lies in discovering the layers and secrets that your game world holds and serves as an opportunity for the GM to get creative. Sometimes, especially with newer players or those who haven't played with many GMs, they might just rush to the main quest or the final boss of a dungeon. They miss out on the side quests and little details that could make their game even better. As a GM, it's your job to make these side paths just as interesting as the main ones. Use your carrot to draw your main players off the road to explore the wilderness. One traditional method to encourage exploration is the classic locked door that requires a special key scenario. It forces players to search the environment for a way forward. While effective, this approach can become predictable over time, not to mention tedious. Instead, try to include more creative puzzles and challenges that require players to engage more deeply with the setting, especially when you can pull on a character's backstory or a player's preferences. Don't be afraid to lure with the promise of magic items or playing on the character's personal ties to get them exploring. While setting up a series of riddles or having statues that need to be interacted with in a specific way can transform a simple dungeon crawl into an intriguing puzzle, a good mystery in the dungeon that relates to an NPC, a character, or the party is a better draw. Sprinkle in details about the world's or dungeon's history or the culture of its inhabitants. When the sparkle of treasure or the threat of violence fail, sometimes curiosity will succeed. On a related note, make sure that the puzzles, traps, or structure of the location makes sense. For example, a lost temple locked away with secrets guarded by ancient priests now long dead. The obstacles placed by these priests are intended to ensure that only the worthy can uncover the temple's mysteries. This setup makes much more sense than a bandit chief inexplicably creating complex puzzles to protect his lair, when deadly ambushes, traps, or simply an escape route to protect his own skin makes far more sense. A dungeon inhabited by a creature that has set traps and challenges that reflect its nature and history feels much more immersive than one randomly filled with complex mechanisms that have no reason to be there. Don't make the mistake of just pushing players down a set path because you want them to go a specific direction. It's more rewarding for everyone at the table when the game environment makes them want to explore. Curiosity should lead them to wonder, what's around that corner, rather than feeling like they're just ticking boxes to finish a quest. Why are the denizens of this cavern a strange color? What are the strange markings on the wall, and why do they glow? Who set these traps and puzzles that are all themed around cows? It's also crucial to make the act of exploration feel rewarding and integral to the campaign. If players discover something unique or useful while exploring, it helps to reinforce the value of leaving the main road. Rewarding players for exploration with experience points, items, or plot advantages encourages them to engage more deeply with your world. Sometimes, just finding something innocuous like a pet, lovable NPC, or trinket is enough. Good exploration requires thoughtful design that encourages players to connect with the world you've created. It should offer them challenges and rewards that are consistent with the setting and the story. As you design your campaigns, think about how you can make the back alleys, hidden rooms, and obscure caves filled with opportunities to discover new things that make your players excited and rewarded for their curiosity and bravery. Thanks for joining me today here on Dungeon Brew. If you found these tips helpful, don't forget to subscribe for more insights on crafting your homebrew campaign. Happy exploring, and I'll see you in the next video.